Breeze Online TV. The world comes to you. Ali Edi, Vice President of Zanzibar, Excellencies, former President Mzee Mwenyi, Mzee Mkapa, Mzee Kikwete, and Mzee Karume, Excellencies, former Vice President and the former Prime Minister, and the other readers here present. Your Lordship Professor Ibrahim Hamisi Juma, Chief Justice of Tanzania. Your Lordship Othman Makungu, Chief Justice of Zanzibar. Your Excellency Chairman of the Sade Council of Ministers, Honorable Ministers here present. Your Excellency Dr. Stegomena, Tax Executive Secretary of the SADC, Your Excellency Head of other regional and international organizations, Excellencies, Higher Commissioners and Ambassadors here present, distinguished delegates and other invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Today, the 17th August 2019, marks 17 years since the Southern African Development Coordination Committee was transformed into the current Southern African Development Community, SADC, in 1992. I therefore, on behalf of the government and the people of the United Republic of Tanzania, and indeed on my own behalf, wish a happy SADC Day to all the citizens of SADC. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in establishing these organizations in 1980, our founding fathers had one major objective. That is to fight and eradicate all forms of colonialism and racial segregations in this subregion. Indeed, by the year 1994, the entire Southern Africa region was free from the yoke of colonialism and the apartheid regimes. Allow me, therefore, to seize this opportunity to commend and pay tribute to those who contributed to this greatest achievement, especially all our founding fathers of this organization. <clears throat> While commending them, it also needs to say that one of the instruments that facilitated our struggle was the Swahili language. This noble language has since then continued to expand all over the world. Indeed, it is now the tenth most spoken language in the world, whereby in Africa it is widely spoken in 13 countries, including six in the SADC regions. The African Union, the East African Community, and recently the African Development Bank, and I'm happy to see the, the President of African Development Bank here, have already adopted it as either their working or official language. It is against this background that I would like to appeal to your Excellencies to allow me to deliver my welcome remark in Swahili. It's my sincere hope that by doing so, Your Excellencies will be convinced to consider and first track the adoption of Swahili as the fourth official language of the SADC. Since I see no objection to my request, I now switch into Swahili. <laughs> For those who are unable to follow the language, don't worry. Interpretations facilities are available. Waishimiwa wakuwa nchi wenzangu, mabibi na mabwana. Niheshima kubwa kwangu kupata fursa hii ya kusimama mahali hapa kwa niaba ya serikali pamoja na Watanzania wote kwa kuwakaribisha wageni wetu viongozi wenzangu wa kuwa nchi na serikali 
pamoja na ujumbe wenu kwenye mkutano huu wa 39 wa wakuu wa nchi na serikali za jumuiya yetu ya maendeleo kusini mwa Afrika kama mjuavyo mkutano huu unafanyika ikiwa imepita miaka ishirini tangu baba wa taifa letu mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere ambaye alikuwa miongoni mwa wanzilishi wa SADC afariki dunia hivyo basi tunaahidi kushirikiana na nchi zote wanachama wa SADC kuhakikisha kupitia mkutano huu ndoto na mawazo ya baba yetu wa taifa pamoja na viongozi wengine wanzilishi wa jumuiya hii yanaendelea kutekelezwa kwa vitendo baada ya kusema hayo narudia tena kuwakaribisha waheshimiwa wakuu wa nchi kwenye mkutano huu wa 39 wa SADC hapa Dar es Salaam mahali penye amani na ambapo ni kitovu cha harakati za ukombozi barani Afrika Mungu ibariki SADC Mungu ibariki Afrika Asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza Kupata habari mbalimbali zinazojiri kila kona ya dunia tafadhali subscribe like na ukome Breeze Online TV